Hello, hello, more Dimers here and welcome to the new series on my channel and this is the chess for beginners. So if you are a complete beginner, this is the place for you. If you are a little bit more advanced, this is the place, place for you. And maybe even if you are a little bit more than little advanced, maybe this is also for you as a lot of advanced players actually miss the basics. They already play uh, decent games, however, they miss the basics and something is stopping them from advancing to the higher level so maybe this is also for you uh, so without further ado let's see what i what i prepare for the lesson number one lesson number one is the chessboard the geometry of the chessboard and some of the exercises how to recognize the squares also how to set up uh, the pieces uh, on the chessboard so uh, we have the chessboard 64 squares 8 times 8 is of course 64 we have the dark square uh, we have also the light squares uh, in the chessboard behind me. The dark squares are represented by the brown color and the light square by the beige color. Uh, however, it's also possible to be, for example, white and green and other colors. As you see here in the internet, we can actually choose whatever um, artistic vision uh, we want. I have white squares and the blue squares. Now, we have about the chess geometry and terminology terminology we have a lot of lines first i would like to tell you about the coordinates so you see these numbers uh, and the letters a b c d e f g h and one two three four five until eight these are actually the lines where some of the pieces uh, can follow so this is a file this is b file c file d file and so on and we also have the ranks so first rank second rank third rank, fourth rank, and until eighth rank. We also have something very unique as diagonal, and this is the longest diagonal. There are also some shorter diagonals. There is even a, a little diagonal, like two squares diagonal only. All of these are diagonals uh, for some of the pieces as well. So this is why this is important. You have to know the terminology. That's the first thing. Now, uh, I would like to just show you that for example d file and the fourth rank uh, can give us on the cross here d4 square so if we want for example move some the of the piece to d4 uh, then you always know that we're gonna go to d4 whatever the square a starting square of the piece is it's gonna you know head to d4 uh, so that's important now first exercise i would like to introduce to you uh, is on leeches so here we go and first is note from leeches knowing the chessboard coordinates is a very important chess skill most chess courses and exercises use the algebraic notation extensively it makes it easier to talk to your chess friends since you both understand the language of chess you can analyze a game more effectively if you can quickly recognize coordinates now uh, we have a 30 seconds and we can actually point which square is which square and as you already see we don't have the letters we don't have the numbers so we just have to know uh, which square is which square and I think this is the good exercise for every level you can check uh, and tell me your score in the comment section I'm very interested if I'm so slow or maybe it's not so bad so let's start uh, we have d5 we have h1 we have e6 c7 e1 g3 d8 a6 we have f2 h6 c7 b1 c3 f6 d3 g5 b3 e6 d2 e7 uh, we have b6 a3 f4 c2 g1 b5 a2 c3 d8 c2 e4 h6 and that's 32 uh, as you already see some of the squares are much easier for me some uh, I have to you know think for a bit so definitely uh, it's something to improve and try maybe you can pause the video open leeches and try uh, what the score you can get the first time and what the score for example after trying this 10 times uh, and so on so this is very important if you want to for example imagine the chessboard then it's always so this is one exercise 
Another exercise is knowing the color of the squares. We don't have that online. Uh, however, you can imagine uh, some of the squares and you should always know, for example, H1 is the light square. So this is always the rule. H1 has to be light square. Uh, A1 has to be always dark square and so on. So you have to imagine you can think for a while and what color. So for example, uh, if I tell you C4, you should immediately know that this is the light square why um, you can memorize the the chessboard but you also if you analyze you know sometimes the bishop from f1 which is the light square uh, goes to c4 so you also know that f1 a6 diagonal uh, is the light square diagonal so this is also good exercise uh, uh, as you know already if you see for example if you watch Magnus Carlsen Fabiano Caruana any grandmaster in the interview they sometimes they say the line Thanks. Uh, so, for example, they, they just say, okay, knight f7, king f7, then I go d4, uh, and so on. And they already know, memorize all the squares and all the colors. So it's very, very easy for them. Uh, they don't need to watch at the chessboard. And on every level, it's actually very, very useful. Believe me or not, but even if you are um, lower than 2000, uh, sometimes if you just walk, uh, you can think about the chess and you can get the new idea. So this is very, very uh, important exercise. One, know the squares. Second, know um, the color of the squares. Now, how to uh, practice that? If you have, you know, some friend, you can uh, try to compete with each other. Uh, if you are alone, you just write, you know, the names of the squares and then you just memorize, uh, try to uh, think about the chessboard and uh, answer and then check later if you were correct or not. So this is another uh, and one more exercise you can think about diagonals are they are used very often. Uh, so if the if it's light square diagonal or dark square diagonal. Now, I, I would like to tell you how to set up the chessboard. So this is very, very important. We always set up the chessboard where the light square is on our right hand. This is my right hand. So H1 is the light square always. OK, uh, you cannot set up, you know, uh, in another direction, another position where you have dark square, that is wrong. So this is the first rule. And the second rule is the white pieces go always on the first and second rank. And of course, black pieces go on the seven and eight rank respectively. Now, how to set up the pieces? Uh, we set up the pawns on the on the second rank and pawns, black pawns on the seven rank. So that's the first. And then we start from the rooks. So rooks go to the corner. Then we have the knights. Then we have the bishops. Uh, and now the most complicated things in setting up is the queen and the king. Now, uh, how to set them up? The rule is very simple. White queen always go on the white square. Dark queen goes always on the dark square. So this is very, very simple. And of course, the king goes to the last square. And if you memorize the numbers easier, then remember that the queen always goes on the D file. So D1 and D8. This is the squares for the queen and for the king E1 and E8. And this is also why we have the queen side. So this is the queen side uh, and this is the king side. OK, so first four files, A, B, C, D are called also the queen side. So if we move some pieces on the queen side, you will always know that it's going to the queen side and the same with the with the king side. Uh, and yeah, that I think that's all for today. In the next video, I'm going to show you already how to checkmate your opponent with the king and the rook. So we're going to know how the first two pieces move. Uh, and this is from uh, some of the books uh, which I also teach my kids and it works pretty well as they doing pretty well. Uh, even they don't like chess. However, uh, when they are forced to play, 
uh, they enjoy that uh, they they doing pretty decent so I think everything uh, what I just show you works only not not only for the kids but also for the most more advanced um, teenagers and even the adults so if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you want to see another videos from this series for beginners press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one